You would never leave me there. You claim because I was made for so much more. I am your child. And I'm worth fighting for. Too heavy. With the weight of my mistakes, you carry me. And refuse to let me sink. And I'm worth fighting for Eyes haven't seen Ears haven't heard All you have claimed for me And nothing can separate me from your love When there's so much more Still worth fighting for Now I'm moving To me, by the power of the night, the swimming of my path, opening every door. I am a child, and I'm listening for eyes have a secret. Up there, right there. Listen, good evening, everybody. Uh, welcome to Higher Ground Christian Church on this Tuesday, May 11. God bless you. Um, Instagram, Facebook, whoever else sees this. Let me pray for you, real quick. Lord, thank you right now for your blessings that you uh, have placed over these people and your people, God, right now in the name of Jesus, uh, to wake up another day to give you glory, honor, and praise. I ask for a healing and a comfort and a peace within all of us, God, that you do a great and a mighty new thing, God, through all of us and make a way 
like you always have. We appreciate you and we glorify you, God. Uh, heal sicknesses right now, heal diseases right now, heal broken minds, broken homes, broken marriages, God. Do that right now in the name of Jesus, we ask. We give you glory, honor, and praise in your darling son. Jesus Christ's name, everybody say amen. Mm -hmm. Listen, today, I'm going to give you that, our vision statement real quick. It's Colossians 3, 1 and 2. It says, if then you have been raised with Christ, then seek the things that are above where Christ is. He, he's seated at the right hand of God. Uh, set your mind on the things that are above and not on the things on this earth. Listen, uh, today I have a sermon I want to talk to y'all about, uh, if you don't mind me. Let me tell you, when, when you're going through a certain, certain situations and circumstances is when you really start to lose uh, faith. And, and uh, today I want to talk about faith. I want to talk about I was going to try to preach my Mother's Day sermon again and, and try to add some stuff in there. I think I'm going to read my poem again, but I, faith, uh, I, I don't know if, I think all of us have gone through some, some circumstances and situations in our life where we've lost the faith. We just can't see our way. And when things start going a certain way down that road, you don't even know how it's going to come back. You're like, ah, now I really lost faith because I, I can't even see how 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 i can get out of it but somebody say god is a way maker <laughs> god can make a way that that's what we know him for he he is a way maker he he can make ways that we would never see before so uh, before you get too down on yourself and and, uh, and lose your faith i want you to know that god is able I, I'm, I'm talking to me first i know god is able and I, and today i want to come from the the book of mark yeah uh, chapter five I want to talk about a couple of different things in this book, and, and we'll start at verse 22. I had one of those days where you're, you're in disbelief, like, I, how did I get here? Where am I going uh, from here? How do I get out of it? How do I get out of this situation? Well, I, I'm, I'm going to preach about it because most, most people, you know, we fall and we falter, and when we get down, we don't want to do the things that God has asked us to do. And, 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 and I'm, I'm fighting. He's worth fighting for. My life's worth fighting for. My family, my wife. It's worth fighting for. That's why I wrote that. I mean, I, lived, I played that song. Um, and because everything that you do for God, Brian Courtney Wilson, is worth fighting for if you're doing it for God. Let me, let me start at the scripture, verse 22. It's, it's uh, Mark chapter 5, verse 22. It says, and behold, one of the rulers of the synagogue came, Jairus by name and when he saw him he fell at his feet talking about jesus and lay and begged him earnestly saying my little daughter lies at the point of death come and lay your hands on her that she may be healed and she will live now uh when they say one of the rulers of the synagogue so we we know that most of the people that worked in the synagogue, they were either Sadducees or Pharisees, one or the other. And so they had a different kind of thinking. But for this man to come fall to Jesus' feet and ask him, you know, if he could come heal his daughter, just a touch. And, 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 and listen, this showed the faith, even though he may not totally believe in everything about Christianity is what we call it, believing in Jesus Christ, he, what he did, he had this faith that he knew that this man was different and he could do something to get him out of what he was in. And so verse 24 says, so Jesus went with him and a great multitude followed him and thronged him. That means they just was worshiping him and pumping him up and, and giving him all kind of praise, you know. But I, I want to look back at uh, Jairus. Jairus, his faith was so strong that that he just knew if I could just get you to come to my house, come listen. I, and and so listen, I, I I didn't prepare for this. God gave it to me five minutes before. If 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 you could just prepare for Jesus to come to your house, if, if you could just have the faith, like if you can just come with me where I need to go, I think you could heal the situation. I, as a matter of fact, 
I, I, I know you can. I, I have this faith, and this is why I'm here. I'm falling at your feet, Jesus. I I have faith that you can do it. And and I, I'm I'm here today to tell you that sometimes we fall out of faith. We do. It, it's we we. And that's why God was just saying, if you just had the the, the faith the size of a a mustard seed, but I our faith fails us all the time. It's very unfaithful because we worry too much. We can't see it. We don't know how it's going to happen. But if we had the belief like this guy, like like Jairus did, he 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 was a ruler in the synagogue. For him to come and follow Jesus' feet, and, and people are looking at him. He he put his pride aside. He put everything he had aside to come and follow Jesus and and ask him for the blessing. That's the other thing. Our faith ought to push us to, to ask God, can you do this for me? Can you do, can you make a way for me? I'm I'm leaving it all up to you. Now it, it said that the, the great multitude followed him and thronged him. Now, this is where I'm talking about this whole faith thing, because the next verse flips to a whole nother story. 25 it says, Now a certain woman had a flow of blood for 12 years. She had she had this disease. She, she she was bleeding for 12 years. And 26 says, and and had suffered many things from many physicians. That means she went through some stuff. She went to go try to get the situation fixed and and, and nothing worked. And this is what it said. And, and she suffered. She suffered because of it. And 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 can you imagine having to go to the doctor all the time? I, I, I talk about people that, that are on dialysis. Man, three times a week, I, I have a cousin and I, I pray for him all the time. Three times a week, almost six to eight hours in a day. Oh my God, that, that would have me tired. It, it, it doesn't leave a whole lot more for you to do. This is what your life is. And this is how I saw this woman. Like, like she was on dialysis. She had some, she suffered for 12 long years. And, and, and suffered many things from many positions. That means she really didn't have time really to do nothing else. What I see is that all she can try to do is worry about the sickness that she had. But get this, she had spent all that she had and was no better, but rather grew worse. Oh my God. I, I wanna ask you something. <laughs> I want you to see it like from this standpoint. Have you ever did all you thought you could do and you was trying to fight the situation and trying to do it on your own and it seemed like it just got worse mm. it, nothing nothing helped i don't care if you throw money at it now I, I listen to what i'm saying i i don't care if you throw money at it uh the best kind even in in some situations where some of us have fasted and prayed and and you still say god it, there still wasn't the outcome that, that i wanted but I want you to know if you have the faith, it will be the outcome that God wants and it's gonna be better for you. Oh, I, I, I'm speaking even to myself. I, I'm, I'm speaking to myself. Uh, I mean, frustrating and, and, and putting, throwing stuff at the situation and, and it got worse. But verse 27 says, when she heard about Jesus, <laughs> and that's all you gotta do is hear about Jesus. And I, I can tell you now, even with me smiling, is I, I love the word of God, but sometimes the hurt be on the inside of you, and all you can do is, is smile, because when you heard about Jesus, this is what brings life to the party. And when you hear about Jesus, you know that he can make a change. It says, when she heard about Jesus, she came behind him in the crowd and touched the hem of his garment. That's all she did. Listen, she wasn't even trying to grab his hand. She wasn't trying to jump on him. She wasn't asking him to throw no water on him, to bless her. He, 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 listen, the other guy approached Jesus, fell at his knees and, and fell at his feet and said, hey, I need you to come to my house. And Jesus said, okay. He, he saw the faith there. And then at that same moment, he rode through the crowd. Here she is. She ain't even, she ain't even trying to see. All I want to do is just touch. That, I, I, that's some, that's some pretty, great faith right there exponential faith that that you just you know 
that if you can just get to Jesus, he can make the difference. He, he'll make the change. And where you've been suffering and where you things have gotten worse, oh man, yeah. I didn't even write this down. It, it's speaking to me now. It, when things have gotten worse and you suffered, if you could just get to Jesus, he can make the change. And this is what he said. When she, when she heard about Jesus, she came behind him in the crowd and touched his gum. For she said, if I, if only I may touch his clothes, I shall be made whole. All I want to do is touch the hem of his garment, and I will be made whole. And then verse 29, this is where it got good. It says, immediately, the fountain of her blood was dried up. The issue that she had went away, and she felt in her body that she was healed of the affliction. Now, and Jesus immediately knowing in himself that the power of the virtue had gone out of him, turned around in the crowd and said, who touched me? <laughs> I'm asking you about faith because I, I want to know who out there, who have you touched Jesus? And who have you been to him and, and, and said, hey, I, I have enough faith where if I, if I could just get somewhere where, where Jesus is. And, and I keep talking about Colossians 3, 1 and 2. If, if then you have been raised to Christ, seek the things that are above. Uh, if you get where Jesus, it, it, seated at the right hand of God, set your mind on things above and not on earth. If you could just get to Jesus, and Jesus immediately knowing that the power had gone for him, turned around and said, who touched me? But his disciples said to him, you see the multitude thronging behind you. You see them all following you. And, and, and you say, who touched you? All these people, they, they know you about to go heal this man's daughter. They 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 following you because they didn't see the works you've done. And, and you talk about who touched you. It's, it's, it's a lot of people around you touching. But I think Jesus was saying, yeah, there's, there's a lot of people around me touching. But wasn't nobody touching me that had faith in, in this manner, that had the belief that he could turn some things around. He he knew it was somebody that took something from him that he gave to them that changed their life. And, and he looked around to see to see her, verse 32, who had done these this thing. But the woman, fearing and trembling, she was nervous and, and scared. I I I, I want to talk about the scripture. I don't know if any of you have, and I know you have been, but been nervous and scared about the circumstance and the situation you're in. Even nervous and scared trying to figure out if you're going to come out. Nervous and scared that it actually may happen for you. <laughs> it it actually could happen for you. And, and, and the woman was fearing and trembling, knowing what had happened to her. She knew that something happened to her just that quick. But she she had faith. She believed, and 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 when she said this, knowing what happened to her, she came and fell down before him. Keeping what I'm saying now, she's already healed. She could have ran off, but I don't know if the healing would have stayed. But he he was asking, "Who touched me?" And she knew he 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 was talking to her. She felt that something. And, and she fell down before him and told him the whole truth. Listen, I want to tell you the whole truth. I, 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 I want to tell you what's going on with me. I came and, and I've been having this issue a long time. I put a lot of money towards it. I, I put a lot of time towards it and things just been getting worse. They ain't getting no better. And, and, and uh, But I had this faith, Jesus. I, I have it. And all I wanted, I, I, I just... I had the faith that if I touched the hem of your garment, I would be made whole and I'd be, I'd be healed. And, and, and Jesus said to her, daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed of your affliction. I, I get excited about that because Jesus wants to heal us. And, and, and some of us that are going through that, where we think what we've done is too bad to actually come out of, and, 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 and we've been like this too long, and, and, and we've, we've put too much into it, and, and I don't know how I'm gonna get out of it, but if you have faith, if you, if you have the faith, 
and, and take it to Jesus and tell him the whole truth. <laughs> tell him the whole truth. He, he'll tell you, your faith has made you whole. Go in peace. Now, I, I'm not finished totally with that because that little short part of the story, it got over. It, it didn't take too long. She touched him with garment. He found out it was her. Hey, say, hey, your faith has made you whole. And, and, and it didn't take long. I want to let you know, it don't have to take that long for, for Jesus to turn your situation around. It doesn't have to take forever. And sometimes we put ourselves in circumstances, in a situation where it, it, it goes longer than what it should have been. But if we had put Jesus in there first and, 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 and let him uh, heal us, we would have been okay. Verse 35 says, while he was still speaking, some came from the ruler of the synagogue's house who said, your daughter is dead. Why trouble the teacher any further? Now, this is, uh, <laughs> I'm telling you, God, listen, this is what happens sometimes when, when, when some of the wrong people get in your ear. They, they come, they'll tell you what the circumstance is, they'll tell you what the problem is, and then they'll tell you, but don't worry about it no more. Don't, don't trouble the teacher. Don't, don't, don't take it to God. Ain't too much you can do no more. You, you, you out of this thing. It's a one-two punch knockout. It, it's gone. Your daughter is dead. Now, I know you came to Jesus. You bowed down at his feet. You had the faith. Y'all on the way. Had a little detour. Woman touch him. He had a brief conversation. It wasn't that long. He, he was still on his way. But hey, now people are coming and telling you, you know what? I, I saw your circumstances, but it's it's a dead situation. You're not gonna come out of it. Why even trouble the teacher anymore? Why why even worry about who Christ is? Why why worry about even hanging with him right now? Why even worry about him following him in the crowd? But guess what? At, at, on 36, it says, as, as soon as Jesus heard the word that was spoken, he said to the ruler of the synagogue, do not be afraid, only believe. Now, listen, I, I'm going to tell you that today. Don't, don't be afraid, but believe. Keep, keep that same faith. Jesus didn't even, he didn't even know. Uh, serve attention to the people who came and said that. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't nothing to say. It wasn't nothing to get on them about. You know, basically, they didn't have the same faith that the man had at the time. And so Jesus turned around to reassure him. He gave an encouraging word. Mm. Listen, I, 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 boy, this, this is working with me. Listen, do not be afraid. Only believe. Jesus was still encouraging to the man, even after he heard what the news was. Even after he heard that the man's daughter had died, he was still encouraged. Don't, don't be afraid. Don't give up the hope that you have. Don't, don't give up the faith that you have. If you only believe, and, and verse 37 says, and he permitted no one to follow him except Peter, James, and John, the brother of James. In verse 38 said, then he came to the house of the ruler of the synagogue and saw a tumult and those who wept and wailed loudly. Verse 39 says, when he came in, he said to them, why make this commotion and, and weep? The child is not dead, but sleeping. I, I, I can imagine them looking at him in disbelief because it says in verse 40, they ridiculed him. But when he had put them all outside, he took the father and the mother of the child and those who were with him and entered where the child was lying. And he took the child by the hand and said to her, Talitha, oh. <laughs> Talitha, that is her name. But it's almost felt like that. Talitha. Kumi, which is translated, little girl, I say to you, arise. Immediately, the little girl arose and walked, for she was 12 years old of age, and they were overcome with great amazement. But he commanded them strictly that no one should know it 
and said that something should be given to her to eat. Let me tell you something. Jesus can walk into your dead situation. And long as you have faith, because the way you came to him already, you already had the faith. You already knew what you wanted to happen. You knew what he was able to do. So he encouraged you, don't be afraid. Only believe. And all those people, uh, uh, this is where it gets good, because sometimes we don't do that. We keep the same folk in the same circle at all the time. All those people that didn't believe and ridiculed, this is what, what the Bible says in first verse 40, which means they made fun of them. They, they, they said some crazy stuff like, this man got to be out of his mind. This baby dead, we up here crying, frustrated, and he, he come talking about it, she sleep. Oh, I want to let you know your, your circumstance, your situation, it's only sleep. It, it, it's not over. It, it, he had, he, he, he's not going to let it die unless that's his will. But if you have faith and, 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 and you go to him, oh my goodness, fall at your knees and, and, and tell Jesus your whole story and tell him the truth and, and put away your pride. Swallow some things that, 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 that you know you have held on to too long. Kind of like the woman with the issue of blood. It's, it was lingering too long. All it did was bring more trouble and, 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 and made me suffer some more. And, and I saw many physicians and, and nothing changed it. It actually got worse. Yeah. But I, I want you today, I want to give this brief, brief encouraging word. Use your faith. Use your faith like these people did here in the Bible, like Jairus and, 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 and the woman who touched the hymn of God. Use the faith. Jesus took the, the, this, this man and his wife into the room, put everybody else out except the ones that believed, the ones he had with him, John and James. He, 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 sometimes we peter we have to have some people around us that believe like 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 we do like we know that god can make a way sometimes when we surround ourselves with people that won't you, you know that saying misery loves company sometimes people want you to be where they're at oh no come no nah, you're gonna be all right no nah, uh -uh. you can nah, no have faith have faith that that jesus can make a change in your situation in your circumstances, if he can't do it, I don't know who else can. He came, he died just for this kind of stuff to, to deliver us and to free us. So I want you to know your situation may be just like this little girl where other people see that it's dead or just like the woman with the issue of blood where it seemed like it can't be healed. Uh, I know that it can. This, this is speaking right now in this day and time. And I, I thank God for the Holy Spirit speaking to all of us. It, it, can, it can change. No, I, 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 I tell you, I'm being transparent right now. I had one of them days that, that, that my mind was just, it's just been blown. I felt like, a, like I couldn't think right. I couldn't get stuff straight. I know I got the smile on my face, but I'm telling you, it was, it's been hard. It's some stuff that 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 if you don't have faith, the devil is, is, is trying to stop you from what what God asked you to do. That that's how I see it. When when you when they start coming like this in this heart, he he he's trying to stop you from whatever you have to do, even if some of this is just your fault. But the ultimate scheme of this is for the, the devil to be able to lead you down a path that God doesn't want you to be down. God wants you to have faith. God wants you to depend on him. God wants you to love him. God wants you to serve him, walk with him, follow him, kneel down to him, touch the hem of his garments. Oh, my goodness. And don't be afraid. This is what he said. But only believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and that's what happened here. They took faith and combined it with, with the almighty hand of God in, inside of Jesus Christ, the son of God. 
And guess what? Miracles happened on that day. Not too far apart from each other. It was all in one day. <laughs> it could have been 30 minutes away. They, they had to go to his house. I, I don't know how far he lived from where they were when she touched him, but it all happened instantly. So what, what, what that told me was, if he can do it, miracles like that in one day, major to us, oh, he got a lot more than him and his garments that he can do. He wants to take you by the hand. He wants to raise you up from that dead situation. And, and let you live. I'm talking about faith today, y'all. I'm talking about pure D faith. I want you to have it. I, he had to speak to me. I got to have it. Uh, we all get weak, but I, I, I want you to be like Jesus was to, and, 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 and do this to others. Encourage them. Do not be afraid. Only believe. Ah, oh, I, I love what, he, what he's done. Listen, I, I, I'm preaching this and, and, and seriously going through something right now. Seriously going through something. But And, and I, I want you to join me on Sunday. Uh, if, even if you have to miss your church service, I want you to hear this sermon that I have that God gave me. And, and, and it's for all of us. It's, it's such an encouraging word. I, I thank God for it. Uh, I think this is what's going to carry me over and bless me to get where I need to go, even in this ministry. Uh, Satan won't be able to stop us from, from what needs to be done because God is all in this situation. The reason that we even preach these sermons is because of Romans chapter 10, verse 9, that says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth and believe in thy heart, the Lord Jesus Christ, that, that, that God had raised him from the dead, yeah, then thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth. And unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Yeah, I, I want I want people to be saved, but I, I after you get saved, I want you to know there's some situations still gonna happen, some circumstances that's gonna come up, and, and some stuff you need to go through that seem like it's been there the whole time. I want you to have faith and, and know that Jesus is able to heal them all. It, trouble doesn't last always. It's horrible trying to get through it. Oh my God. And you don't know where God is taking you. You'd be like, whoa. Wow. But have faith and, and, and trust in him. Um, if you could be a blessing to the church, I, I would ask that you do that. Uh, Higher Ground Christian Church has a cash app where it's simply the money sign, Higher Ground CC. Be a blessing. Uh, I'm going to start getting more into um, speaking of what God has is asking from us to bless the churches to help them grow. We, we pour ourselves into everything else and pay our bills and do everything else, but God wants the church to also grow. Uh, he, Jesus loved the church as a, his bride, and, and so we need to start supporting the church. I, I don't care what kind of money you get. I don't care what kind of job you have. You need to start tithing and you need to start blessing the church and watch how God blesses you. It's going to take faith. It's going to take you kneeling down, touching the hem of his garments, having faith that God is going to bless you back. Don't just take your money and, 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 and spend it just all on you. It's a selfish situation we've all gone through, but put some of it back to the church. I don't care if it's $5. I don't care if it's $10 a week. Do, do your part to be a blessing to the church. So if you can, be a blessing to us as well and so that we can move further. Let, let me pray real quick. Lord, I, I thank you for your word. Thank you for what you're speaking right now in this day and time, God, that we must have faith. Uh, we must have faith uh, in order to please you. And faith the size of a mustard seed would, would move a mountain, God, right now. So I, I want to pray right now, God, that the people that hear this will have faith, just like the synagogue ruler and, and just like this woman with the issue of blood. Uh, God, I, I want people to have faith knowing that you could, you're able to raise people from the dead and heal diseases that people have been carrying on so long. You're able to do it, God. We know it. And we love you for it. And we praise you for it. And we glorify you for it. So heal our dead situation, God, where we think there's no more life in it. And, and raise us up out of that 
and move us to a whole nother level, God. Uh, and let our testimony be strong by the test that we've gone through. We give you glory, we give you honor, and we give you praise in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Y'all do me a favor, please share this video. Not because I want to be popular, but I, I know God's word is for somebody. And somebody was going through just like I'm going through right now. And somebody needed that. And I need you to come back on Sunday morning, 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Central Time is 11 o'clock. I know everybody got their own church service, but just one day I'm asking you, if you can step away from your church service and be a blessing and come here, hear what God has to say to me. I want you to hear it and, and hear what God has to say. So I love you. God bless you. Be a blessing to your church. Uh, when I was talking about encouraging people, uh, I also talk about how God has all this blessing. He wants to flow it through you to bless somebody else. Same thing with encouragement. God is an encouragement to us. He flows it through us to be encouragement to somebody else. Go be an encouragement to somebody else. Be a blessing to somebody else. Do what you can and, and, and fight for what God has put in you. Amen. Amen. I, I, I love y'all. Y'all enjoy the rest of your day. Be a blessing to wherever you can. I love you. And God bless you. Thank you.